I wonder what started the American Revolution. Are you kidding? I don't even know what the American Revolutionary War is, much less how it started. The American Revolution was the war between the people who came to America and the people who stayed in Europe. It was a war over freedom and it started in 1775. I think they fought for more than freedom. I think it started before 1775. You're both partly right. The war was about many things, and some historians say it started with the Stamp Act in 1765. What was the Stamp Act? The people back in Great Britain. Do you mean the British Parliament? The, the British Parliament said the people in, new, in the New World or America would have to pay for the fee to Great Britain to have paper, newspaper, and any other legal paper, paper stamped. The fee for the stamp was called a tax. I guess the people of America didn't like the Stamp Act. Men and women of the New World who refused to be taxed by Great Britain were called the Sons and Daughters of Liberty. They made their own food and candles so they didn't have to buy supplies from Britain and support the British government. I guess this made the people of Great Britain mad. Yes, it did. It especially made Jean King George III very angry. He sent more British troops to America to make the people believe and pay the taxes to support the British government. Did this work? Not very well. It made many of the people of Boston angry to have soldiers in the street trying to make them behave as the King of England wanted them to. They thought the King was wrong. So what happened? On March 5th, 1770, a crowd of people in Boston began throwing rocks and snowballs at British soldiers. Then many other people attacked the soldiers. In the middle of the fighting, someone yelled, fire! The British troops fired their guns into the crowd of people and killed five colonists. The next day, the newspaper reported that the British soldiers had massacred the people of Boston. A massacre is, is the killing of many people who cannot defend themselves. Many people say that this incident started the American Revolution. Others say the Boston Tea Party started the American Revolution. Well, I've heard of the Boston Tea Party. It started three years later in 1773. The government of Britain and the king were trying to force the people of Boston into buying tea that was taxed. Because of the Stamp Act, people of Boston were now against any type of tax. The colonists don't think it was right because they weren't allowed to have any say in what the British government did to them. If a person wrote a paper and didn't pay to have it stamped with an official government stamp, he or she could be put in jail for breaking the law. He tried to trick the American colonists by lowering the price of the tea, but then he put tax on it. He then sent the tea to the New World. He hoped that the people of Boston would be happy that the tea didn't cost as much as before. And then they would buy it anyway because it was cheaper even though it had tax on it. The people of Boston were very angry. Many said that they wouldn't pay tax on tea no matter how low the price was because the tax would be unfair. One night, some Boston men dressed up as Indians and boarded the ship that had the tea on it. They dumped 342 chests of tea into the harbor. This made the king very angry. Since all these events made people angry on both sides, I think the American Revolution started earlier than many history books say it did. What do the history books say? The beginning of the American Revolution was in April of 1775. 
It began with the battles of Lexington and Concord on April 19th, 1775. Well, maybe we should think of April 19th, 1775 as the beginning of the American Revolution. You're probably right. All I know is that for eight years, the colonists and the British fought many battles. And many people were killed. It was also during the revolution that the American colonists wrote the Declaration of Independence. That's right. The Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. The Declaration of Independence was a document that stated why the people of the New World wanted to be free from the Old World. When did the American Revolution end? The last battle was in Yorktown in 1781. No one realized at that time that Yorktown would be the last battle. The king wanted to continue the fight. After all those years, though, the British Parliament decided enough was enough and ended the fighting. A peace treaty was signed in Paris on September 3rd, 1783, formally ending the Revolutionary War and making the New World a separate country from Great Britain.